everything changes when you get more than one offer. Magically, negotiations are now different because two people want your house instead of just one. My name is Liz and I sell real estate in Charlottesville and Richmond, Virginia. When negotiating as a listing agent, once you get that second offer, it doesn't matter what the offer is necessarily. You now have multiple offers. And before you get that first offer, you're going to work with the offer that you have in your hand. But as soon as the other one scoots in, here's where we go. You have to make the decision whether or not you want to tell the other people that there is another offer. Because sometimes when you tell a home buyer that there's another offer, they're like, me, I do not want to play this game. And then they run off. We don't want anybody running off. So how do you get them to stay in the game? You can do it a couple of ways. You can call for highest and best. Hey, wanted to let you know that we got another offer. If there's anything your buyer would like to do to adjust their offer, please let me know. And the deadline for that is blank. You can also ask your seller if they are okay with you helping them write a better offer. For instance, if one offer has more money than the other offer and money's the issue, tell them money's the issue. You need the seller's okay to do any of this kind of stuff. You are representing the home seller and if they don't want you saying this or that, you're not saying this or that. Have you ever been in a multiple offer situation and how did it shake out? Tell us.